Hey guys, what is up? It's Carrie from Cultivating Wild Roots. Today we're gonna jump right in and talk about planting tomatoes. Tomatoes I feel like are like one of the most popular things to plant in a garden. And there's a few tips that you might need to know to help you have better success with them. So there's two different types of tomatoes. There's determinate and indeterminate varieties. And why you need to know that is so that you know how to stake or cage your tomatoes. So if you have a determinate variety, those are going to grow to a determined size and then that's it. They're gonna set fruit and they're gonna be done. Now, if you have an indeterminate tomato, the vine or the main leader is gonna grow high, 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 high up into the sky. It's gonna go six, seven, eight, even up to 10 to 12 feet tall. So if your indeterminate tomato is going to get that tall, it's kind of hard to put just a little three foot tomato cage on that. You're gonna have this large bush and it's gonna be kind of a mess. And also tomato cages make it a little hard to prune your tomato plant. So if you have a determinate variety, I would suggest putting a tomato cage on that and it would be perfect. But if you have an indeterminate variety, you want something that's a little bit taller to help trellis and make that main leader, that main vine grow up really tall because that's gonna create good airflow. It's gonna help you prune and it's also gonna just be easier to manage as it grows up this big tall um, trellis. Okay, so one of my most favorite ways of trellising tomatoes is the string method. So you take a nylon string and we have it hooked up to a kind of a, a wooden piece up at the top. And you have this nylon string that so it doesn't break down. If you use like twine or something, it'll break down in your soil and it'll, it'll rot away. And then I have it uh, connected to this fabric staple. Now you could use any type of uh, metal deal, but this is just what, what we had. And so then what you'll do is you'll poke this down into the soil and it'll create this straight string leader. And then you'll vine your tomato and kind of wrap it around that string all the way up. And so last year we had tomatoes that were eight or nine feet tall, which is kind of amazing up in uh, Montana. A lot of commercial growers use this method of string trellising just because it creates really good airflow and it allows them to grow them vertically and saves a lot of space from those tomato plants just vining all over the ground. When you have them growing vertically, it helps you to be able to prune them a lot easier and a, just a lot more freely because they're growing vertical. And so pruning that will help you have bigger and better tomatoes every time. Okay, so remember these indeterminate varieties, they like to grow and my tomatoes have gotten completely out of control in their little red solo cups and so we need to get them in the ground pronto so what we're going to do is very gently we're going to kind of help lift this up so i can see what we have going on here and so the all the bottom parts of this tomato plant we're going to actually pick that off of there and we're going to plant this tomato plant really deep. What you'll notice on the base of your tomato plants is that there'll be little kind of spots sort of and those aren't diseases those are actually roots trying to start growing and so if you put them in the ground they will take off and you will have a nice healthy plant. Okay so we're just gonna literally poke off or pluck off these bottom layers of leaves. Now you can actually Take these and put them in water and they will grow roots and you will have extra tomato plants. So we're gonna take off all these bottom ones and then what's left will be all these top, top plants. So then when we plant it in the ground, we're gonna plant it um, using the trench method, which I'll show you in a sec, where you plant it kind of sideways like this and then it'll start growing up vertically. So I think we have a good amount taken off here and we'll leave the rest of that for uh, growth on the plant so it has a good start to it. So with the tomato trench method, you're essentially going to dig a trench and you're gonna put your tomato plant in there. So this is where I want like the head of my plant to be because it's gonna vine up my string. But I'm going to kind of come back this way So we'll pull it out of the cup and you can see that there are quite a bit of roots in there. So it was really ready to be 
done in this get up. So then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna plant it like that, very sideways. And that's it. The cool thing about it is all of this vine that has gotten planted is going to get lots of water because it is close to the surface. You could bury it way down deep, but your roots aren't gonna get that much water. So it is better to kind of do this trench method. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our uh, string line, and we're gonna run it directly down in the soil next to the plant. And we will start, we'll tighten this up a bit, but we'll just start trellising it around and it will start growing up. Now you can see on this plant, or maybe you can see, there are some flowers starting to grow right here. We're actually going to take those off. We don't want the plant to flower just quite yet because it needs to um, focus its energy on putting roots in the ground. And it's, it's kind of an either or situation. It's either roots or flowering. And right now we want roots because this plant is just being planted in the ground. So same thing again on this one. We're gonna do the trench method and we're gonna pick the bottom leaves and suckers off. So we're gonna have just that amount coming up. Okay, let's do the trench method up close together. So you have your main leader stem, which is right here. So you're gonna take off all of these leaves that are coming up the side of it. And then you're gonna plant it all up deep up to here because all of these little nodules that you see on here, these are roots that are trying to form. So we're going to bury those underground so that they can form roots. You're gonna take your string line Figure out exactly where you want the trellis. Okay, so I want my trellis to be about right here. So that means I want the head of my plant coming out right here. Okay, so then I'm gonna take my plant out. You can see the roots down here. So since I want the head of my plant coming up right here, I'm gonna make sure that it's in the spot that I want it, and then I'm gonna bury the rest. And what that's gonna do is that's going to allow all of that space up here to get a lot more water on it. So all those roots are gonna have water. One thing that you do wanna note is that when you have leaves touching the ground like this, you should pluck them off so we're gonna pluck those off of there because you really don't want leaves touching the ground because it makes the plant more susceptible to uh, diseases.
we'll give it a nice good water and then make sure we uh, put our string line down into the ground so then as this plant grows up we're going to just wrap it around the string okay so it's been about five days since we planted these tomatoes i wanted to show you how they're standing up on their own even though they were planted in a trench method and, and laying kind of flat the sitting in the sun all day they eventually kind of just turn themselves right side up so as you can see they are all upright even though they were planted in a trench and laying down they are all perfectly sitting straight up like they're supposed to okay so what i want to show you on this tomato plant is that right here in this armpit you have the the leaf stem coming off here and you have the main stem that comes off here well right here in this armpit is a sucker so this this right here will take energy from the plant and since this is a indeterminate variety we want to take that off of there now if you had a determinate variety it's probably not a big deal to leave these on but indeterminates you really want to prune that off of there because that'll help them and also this this here is a not a leaf stem but it's a flowering stem we're actually going to take that off of there because since I just planted these, I really don't want flowers to grow right now. I want roots to grow. And with tomatoes, it's kind of an either or. And you can see here how we have our string line in the ground and we have our tomato plant starting to be wrapped around this. This will, when you wrap it around here like this, this will force this tomato plant to grow straight up on this long trellis and it'll keep it nice and straight. Growing straight up on this vine right here will help it have good airflow and be easier for me to prune. Okay, I wanna teach you about watering. Now, a lot of us are not fortunate enough to have drip irrigation, even though that would be totally ideal. Um, we have to water by hand. And so if you water by hand, something to note is that tomatoes can tend to get diseases fairly easy and you want to prevent that as much as you can. So watering the tomato and squirting the water all over the leaves can cause your tomato to get diseased easier. So if you just wet the soil and keep your leaves dry, you are keeping your plant healthier. A healthy plant who is disease free is also going to be pest free. So weak plants attract pests. Okay, I decided to do this last part in our grow room because it is so windy outside and I don't think you're gonna be able to hear me very well. So I just wanted to say thanks for hanging out with us today. Thanks for learning about tomatoes and all of that. Remember, plant your tomatoes deep, make sure you water them really well, and they are heavy feeders. So make sure that you are on a, just a continuous fertilizing schedule, just so that you have a nice big tomato when it's time to pick them. So thanks for hanging out with us today. Make sure you check us on Instagram and subscribe down below so that you can stay up to date with our newest videos.